In this video, we will solve a basic degree of freedom problem. And so if you want, you can pause the video here and attempt to solve the question where you want to solve for M2 and M3. So let's get started. So first, we will review degree of freedom. So this is just a recap. You can go ahead and read it if you're not uh, familiar yet. And now we will actually solve this problem. So we're going to want to solve for M2 and M3. And we will first do a degree of freedom just to prove that we can actually solve this problem. So we can say DOF, degree of freedom. We first need to know how many unknowns do we have. We have two, M2 and M3. Uh, how many balances, how many equations can we write? We can do a, a B balance, a T balance, so that's two, so negative two because you can do a B comma T. Also, you could do B and a total balance or T and a total balance because these two combined would be a total balance. You can't, however, say minus three. You can't say B comma T comma total balance because when you have these two combined, that produces the total balance. And so two minus two is zero. So you can solve this problem. And so we will solve this question in two ways. We will solve it using B and the total balance and B and T. So let me show you what we're gonna do. So we can do a B balance. So for B balance, we have a 200 times 0 0.3 this number right here, 200 times 0 0.3, is equal to M2, that's what we're solving for, times 0 0.9, plus M3 times 0 0.2. That is our B balance. Next, we'll do a total balance, so total. So that's going to be the 200 is equal to M2 plus M3. This right here, we can actually solve the problem. We have M2 and a, this should be M3, M3. Two unknowns and two equations. So I'm gonna pull up my calculator. So if you wanna solve this problem using the TI Inspire CX cost, you would hit menu, you would hit algebra, and then you would hit seven, uh, solve system of equation, then hit one, solve system of equation. Um, we have two unknowns. Um, we have M2, comma, M3, and so we will write what we, what we had. So we had 200 times 0 0.3 is equal to M2 times 0 0.9 plus M3 times 0 0.2. Second equation was just 200 is equal to M2 uh, plus M3. You hit enter, and the answer would be uh, M3 would be 171.43, and M2 would be 28.57. And now I will solve this question using the second method. So we did a B balance and a total balance, but I could also do a B balance and a T balance, or even a T balance and a total balance. This is just to prove it. So I'll do B and T. But I could also do T and total. So B was this. So that was B, and next we will do a T, a T balance. So we could say 200 times 0 0.7 is equal to M2 times 0 0.1 plus M3 times 0 0.8 and we'll go back to the calculator so menu three uh seven one same thing we're going to solve for m2 comma m3 um so we write we write the exact same thing so we have 200 times 0 0.3 is equal to m2 times 0 0.9 plus m3 times 0 0.2 for the first equation. And our second equation was 200 times 0 0.7 is equal to m2 times 0 0.1 plus m3 times 0 0.8. Hit enter, 
and we get the exact same uh, exact same answer. And that is how we can solve a basic degree of freedom problem.